Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and we are going to be doing the Captain Singalong Brunch at the Boathouse and I am so excited. This is one of my all-time favorite restaurants and I cannot wait to show you. Later on, we're going to be joining up with some of my friends and we're going to be going out on a real boat and exploring the Lakes of Windermere and checking out all of the expensive houses on Lake Butler. So I figured we'd eat some food, drink some mimosas and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's a beautiful day today at Disney Springs. Temperatures are in the high 80s and the humidity is at like 85%. So it's a little bit hot out, but definitely very humid out. Today's video is gonna be kind of all over the place because I have so many fun things that I had planned for today And it's hard to make a video just on one like subject, you know what I mean? So I just figured I would just bring you along for everything. Well, uh, like I said, but we're gonna be joining up. My friend uh, is gonna be taking us out on his boat and we're gonna be exploring uh, the lakes of Windermere, like Lake Butler, where Shaq used to live and we're gonna be going to the Bird Island and stuff like that. It's really cool and I'm just really excited to show you guys and just make it a fun day and bring you uh, basically everywhere I go. And we made it to the boathouse. Great food, waterfront dining, and dream boats. Everything combined. And joining me for my captain sing-along brunch, I've got some friends. We've got Bethany, which I love Bethany's TikToks on food. Bethany Vinton. I'll put a link for everyone's uh, channels or TikToks in the description. And then we got Kristen right down Main Street. Are you guys ready for a little brunch? Let's get ready. Yeah? All right. Are you the captain? I am the captain now. <laughs> You're the captain. Of course, one of the things the boathouse is known for is their ampere cars where you can drive a car right on into the water and it turns into a boat. And maybe we'll do this later. Look at that. Watch, it's going to go right on into the water and splash right on in. We're definitely going to do it. After brunch, we're doing it. Look at that. I love it. It's so cool. This is where we're going to be sitting for our brunch, and I love it. This, there's only one boat seat in the whole entire house, and we just got lucky enough uh, to get uh, seated here today. <laughs> one of my favorite things about brunch at the boathouse is the cinnamon icing like dinner rolls. They're brunch dinner rolls, but they are so good. They're just the regular dinner rolls that you can get like here if you come for dinner, but then they add this cinnamon icing on top of it. Grab a roll, everyone. Just grab, come on. Look at them, they're like pull apart. They're just so good. Look at this. If you wear a captain's hat, you actually get a free mimosa and you can buy these hats. They actually sell them in the gift shop there. They're $20, so it's technically like you're paying $20 for a mimosa, but at least you feel fancy. Like, I feel really fancy sitting in a boat with a captain hat, drinking mimosa for Sunday brunch. Oh, it's not even Sunday. It's Saturday. Cheers. Here is a look at the menu for the Boathouse Captain Singalong Brunch. They've got shrimp and grits, they've got crab cakes Benedict, they've got the lakeside breakfast, and they've got the uh, Bischoff cookie waffle. I don't know if that's how you say it, or if it's Bakoff, Biscoff. I just like to call it the airplane cookie waffle. And then of course the chicken and biscuit and gravy. I mean, there's a lot of great selections and they're reasonably priced. The only thing that's super expensive is that crab cake Benedict, that $33.50. We decided on ordering one of everything from the whole entire menu. That is a lot of food, but we're gonna share it all. We have a lot of food. And what's the name of this waffle? Waffle. I like to call it the airplane cookie waffle. Yeah. Yep, it's just the airplanes. And then look, right here, this must be the crab cakes benedict right there. That looks good. The steak and eggs. The avocado toast over there. Oh, look at the chicken biscuit and gravy with the scrambled eggs. Shrimp and grits. Yo, there is so much food happening here. I'm just excited. We're all going to dive in and make little plates and share it all. You gonna add a little syrup on there? Just a little bit? Oh, cookie butter. Cookie butter syrup. Cookie butter syrup. Look at that. 
We put in a request for a song. What is it? The Muppet Movie 2011. Nate's B-Day? Hey, wait a second, it's not my birthday. Don't do that, now I have to go up there and give it to him. All right, I'm taking it up, give me it. Man or Muppet, I hope they play it. That so Kristen really loves Man or Muppet, but I also love Happily Ever After, so I'm gonna add Happily Ever After and see if they'll play it. I'm gonna put or Happily Ever After. Or Happily Ever After. I just love hearing Happily Ever After when I'm at like Jelly Rolls and stuff. And also, I'm a little sad Piano Rob's not here today. He's one of my favorite uh, like piano players that's with the Orlando Dueling Pianos. Uh, and uh, But the guys that are up there, they're really good too. But I do miss my buddy, old pal, Piano Rob. Happily Ever After. <laughs> It's honestly not that expensive. You would think ordering the whole entire menu would cost you a lot of money, but all of this food right here costs just about $100 even. Yeah, isn't that insane? I did take this out of the equation though because this costs $33.50 on its own, but all of this is just like around $15 an item. 15 to 20 dollars so it's not that expensive you know what i mean like if for three people like that's not bad at all and plus we get free mimosas because we got a captain hat i think i have to say my favorite thing here is probably the chicken biscuit and gravy i love biscuits and gravy i love a good sausage gravy and i love a good biscuit and uh that's what i'm starting off with got a nice little got a nice little piece right there and uh, cheers. Cheers to uh, the captain's brunch. I didn't know there's blueberry compo for the waffle. I left you a little. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at blueberry compo and then cookie butter syrup. All right, we got the compo, we got the syrup, we got everything. So uh, we're going in. Just that cookie butter syrup. That waffle is so good. It literally tastes like I'm on an airplane right now. So good. The Bischoff. Bischoff. The Bischoff. <laughs> the Bischoff. It's, an, it's the Eric Bischoff waffle. Kristen, they're doing a Muppet. Yeah, they're just doing a Muppet song. It's a substitution for Man or Muppet. They're playing the Muppet song, but they're not playing Man or Muppet, and I'm okay with it. Hopefully, they'll play my secret song that I requested afterwards. Yes, I did. I requested a good song. I requested a good song. Well, we'll see if they play it. It is not my birthday. Happy birthday, Nate. Happy birthday, Nate. <laughs> 21 guys it is not my birthday yeah. thank you <laughs> well after eating a little bit of everything my favorite things would definitely have to be the steak and eggs and the chicken uh, and biscuits and gravy I just love them they're so good the espresso martinis is one of my favorite drinks they also have a pear mimosa that's pretty good but I didn't get it this time and now since we had brunch in a boat we might as well go out and uh, take the amphi car we're gonna take the little amphi car around uh, Disney Springs we're gonna go drive a car into the water and I'm so excited this is one of my favorite things to do what's everybody's favorite so far I've only tried the cookie butter waffle and it is so freaking good yeah so good. wait I, I I'm the only one that made a sample plate oh no you made a sample plate okay, but I'm with breakfast. I can't combine like, oh you can't let them touch no, we got to make it like little department stores like oh I need what's your favorite the steak, yeah, it's got such great flavor. And it's a New York strip too. Like I was thinking maybe a filet or something, but the New York strip actually hits great. I don't know, we got a lot of eggs to eat too. We didn't realize that when we ordered one of everything that everything comes with eggs. So, sunny up, sunny up, scrambled, scrambled, over easy, sunny up. That's a lot of eggs, that's a dozen eggs. <laughs> 
so excited to take you guys out on the Ampu car. And one of the cool things is, is you can bring a little roadie with you. So we got a lemon drop to actually take on the car itself. And if you eat inside the boathouse, they give you a receipt and you can save $25. It's just around $100 to take the cars out. But uh, if you eat here, you might as well save a little money, you know? And here comes our boat car right now, our Ampri car, it's pulling up. Look at that. My favorite thing about this is literally driving into the water and then driving out of the water. Look at all the seaweed on the front. Look at that. Holy moly. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna try to get down a little bit lower. Look at that, look at all that seaweed. That's too cool. We literally just had brunch inside of a boat and now we're about to get into a hybrid boat car and go out and actually drive on the water and then we're gonna go out on a giant boat in Windermere. Like today the amount of boat action is just incredible so I hope you guys enjoy. This has been amazing. I love going. I love the water. I love boats. Over here, we'll stand on the outside of the car and get some photos. Oh, we're gonna do some photos on the outside? Look at this. Wow. Fancy, we got umbrellas too, just in case. You guys comfy back there? All right. I call shotgun. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. <laughs> All right, watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs. Look at this. Look at the steering wheel. Look at the, it goes up to 40 miles an hour. Right over here, Harrison. Welcome aboard. It my is name hot. Is oh, you're Mike. captain for the next little bit. Uh, uh, I'm also a captain, so that's awkward. There you go. That's awkward. <laughs> well, you know, you need to have a front and a back, so we're good. Okay, okay. We've got back all captain. bases covered. We got, we got two go. captains. Yep. All right. <laughs> Haven't lost anybody today. Not going to start yet, so. You got a latch over there. I know it's all shiny and sparkly. Don't touch it, otherwise, we're going swimming. Same with this one over here, we're gonna get this side latched up. Latches up good, latches down, swim party. Behind us, umbrellas. If you need them, they're there for you. Wait for Ooh, us to go into the fine. water first, otherwise you'll marry Poppins up the back of the car. Other than that. All right, everyone buckle up. We're all buckled up. I don't know if I trust Captain Mike here. You're gonna buckle up? Oh, well, that ought to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that, here we go. Oh boy, we're going? Uh, we're going. Right, oh my lord. Just driving there. Bethany got smart. She opened up the umbrella there. Look at that. It's much cooler now. It's a little hot out, but it's so beautiful out here. I love it. The umbrella is a big difference. It's huge. It makes it like 20 degrees cooler. Yeah. Look at us just driving along here. Coming up on the lava lounge. Gotta say hi to everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers. This is, this is a perfect cheers to me. This is a great brunch. Hi. I love that. What are the different gauges there? I know you have a horn, right? We got fuel, we got volt meter for our battery, RPMs for the engine, oil, and we got water. Basically, watch the temperature. Make sure the slow the lady is overheat. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> I love that. Oh wow, the big boat's coming. Somebody asked me what the fire button was for, and I said, "Well, it controls the volcano." And they're like, "Come on, Mike. Uh, you know, after being out here enough time, you know, you know what to listen for to know when the volcano's going to erupt." So I heard like the. So you could time it. I, and I, I knew exactly when the volcano was going to erupt. I'm like, "Go ahead and press the button." They pressed it in the volcano like Oh my god, that's yeah, so that funny. Was the ultimate dad thing. Like, I love that. Yeah. You get cool points for that. Very, very oh, daddy of me. <laughs> yeah. We're making our way back in. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh,
whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we, we just here. ran out of gas. Holy moly. Chicks we just ran off. out of gas. Perfect timing. Look, the lights flashing red and everything. Perfect, we got it. <laughs> We are back home now and it's time to change out and get ready to head out on the big boat. We're gonna be under the sun uh, for a long period of time. We're actually gonna be bringing a grill out with us and kind of cooking out on the water and I'm so excited. Like I think we might be out there for like three to four hours. So I'm gonna have to get some uh, sunblock, change my clothes and we might actually hop in the water. Like we, we might go swimming in the water. So uh, I'm gonna bring a little swimming suit and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to show you. Today's just gonna be such a fun, like adventurous day. I love, I love sharing my experiences with you guys and uh, making these little videos. They're so much fun. They're, it's like a, a personal, like a uh, little scrapbook that I get to look back on. What are you doing, little girl? What are you doing? Oh, did you give me a kiss on that camera? Oh, that was cute. Oh, I got another one. Oh, what are you doing? Hoo hoo. I love living in Windermere. It is such a beautiful city, and I'm happy that I'm showing you guys around. I'm thinking maybe I'll show you guys some more local stuff, so let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see. And we're so close to Disney. We're two minutes away from Cinderella Castle, and like I mentioned, so many celebrities live on the lake. Shaq and, of course, uh, Sync and Backstreet Boys, they all used to live here. I think Joey Fatone still lives here. Justin Timberlake had a house. Tiger Woods, Arnold Palmer, Devin Hester, Ken Griffin. Jr., so Larry the Cable Guy, like the list goes on and on. They even have a golf course there, and uh, there's a place called Bird Island. It's like a little sandbar that you can go to, and you can actually get out of your boat. I think I'm gonna go swimming in a Florida lake. Like, I am so excited. I've never been there before, but Shaq lives like right next to the island, and he used to come out uh, when he used to DJ, DJ Diesel, and he used to go to that sandbar, and he used to throw parties and DJ there. So it's gonna be cool because we're gonna actually we're gonna I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna show you guys I'm so excited here comes our boat this is the one the silver tuna that's our boat that Shaq has is for sale right now and it was featured in MTV Cribs so if you watch the episode of MTV Cribs with Shaq and his gigantic bed and also the Superman statue that Michael Jackson gave to him it's actually this house right here I'll always remember it because of the blue roof on top there but isn't that so cool that was his boat dock right here I mean, like I said, I don't know if he still lives there or if it's just on the market, he's trying to sell it. But how awesome is that? It's loaded with Superman stuff everywhere. And it's so big, like it's so long. Incredible. Some more amazing houses right here. Look at this all. Oh, and then there's the island. We're gonna go over to the island, I think. We're backing into the island right now. You can't go on the island. You can just stand uh, in the water, but the water is like, yeah, in the shallows. You see how everyone's kind of just hanging out in little tubes? But this is where we're going. We're backing in. Man, can you imagine if DJ Diesel just came out and... What about DJ Nikki T, huh? Oh, DJ Nikki too. Nikki T, too. Yeah. Well, I want to hear some music from you, man. We're going to sing today. We're going to sing? Absolutely. You can sing to me anytime. All right, I'm stepping in. I hope I don't fall or drop the camera. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Oh, I'm so sorry for splashing. It just blows my mind that we just tied up our boat to a tree here and now we're just hanging out on Lake Butler. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, what a time to be alive.
There is a whole bedroom underneath our boat and a bathroom. Look at this. Yo. I can't even believe it. We have a bathroom. That's incredible. Now we're going to start cooking up a little bit. We got a grill on here and we're just going to hang out in the water and cook. I can't believe I'm hanging off a boat right now. Like I'm in the water and uh, I'm in the I'm in the I'm in a lake in Florida. Now I'm blowing up a pineapple. Where's my guy right here? Let it go. I was like, yo, it's leaving. Yo, take a picture of me. I gotta shoot. actually ended up cooking. Look at that. Now we're cooking. It's crazy how this whole area is like a sandbar right here. Now you can't go up on the island. You're not allowed to go up on here at all, but you could just come over and uh, dock and stand on here. And you know, just kind of relax. There's a lot of people here. Like there is like, I mean, there's like, I would say at least 10, maybe, maybe 13 different boats right now. At least a hundred people and it's just crazy like look at some of these houses alongside the lake it's amazing over there's Larry the cable guy's house that should be over there yeah Larry the cable guy and there comes another boat some of the boats are really fancy looking too look at that honestly I'm so happy we decided to grill out too like I don't, I've never even seen a grill on a boat and this is what I was talking about look how many people look how many boats are over there they're all lined up here it's crazy. I love this place. This is my new favorite spot. I can feel that sizzling sun. Is that the Lehigh uh, secret? You gotta toast the buns? Hey, toast the buns on the inside first, always. Oh, the Lehigh secret right there. You see, you start getting a little grill marks on the inside there for you. That's how it's gotta be it's done. <laughs> I've been having the best day so far. We got to be out in the sun all day long, as you could probably tell. And uh, yeah, it's just so beautiful here. I'm standing in the water. There's fish floating all around my feet and uh, I'll eat a hot dog. Huh. I'm gonna miss summer. This is like uh, the last, uh, probably my last uh, big summer outing here. So cheers. I've always wanted to like lay on the top or the front of the boats. So I think I'm gonna go up here and do it. Oh my lord. Woo! This is actually amazing. Uh, yep, I'm coming right here. <laughs> The fear of my camera just sliding off the boat right now is so insane, but I think we're good. Look at this. Oh, it's cozy. Ah! I love going to, like, I love going through the little, like, passageways with all the trees and everything because you're at this weight speed and I love it. Isn't it, like, just so cozy? It really is. Right? Just, like, coming through here, it's, like, so beautiful. Well, hanging out on the lake was amazing. I literally, I mean, I can say I can spend all day out there, but uh, I couldn't spend like another hour out there. We were just hanging out. It was probably like a good like three, four hours actually. And uh, we were baking in the sun. We were just kind of floating in there. And honestly, I didn't see any alligators or snakes or anything like that. A lot of fish uh, and a lot of people say there are no alligators in uh, Lake Butler. And actually a lot of those chains there, I don't know how true that is I mean but even if they did you know uh, it's kind of a very populated area there so uh, but yeah it was amazing and now I think 
I think I'm a little hungry. We didn't get quite enough food on the boat. We didn't realize we couldn't cook like like full blown cook. So uh, maybe uh, we'll get a little din din, you know, late dinner. For dinner, we made our way up to Winter Garden and we're going to one of our favorite spots, Bonefish Grill. I know you're probably thinking like, why Bonefish? I know you're probably thinking like, why Bonefish Grill? You know, there's so many places to go around this area, but I love it here. I think the chicken is amazing. And uh, now like all my friends love it here. So we all come to Bonefish Grill. We get the grilled chicken with some asparagus and some broccoli, and it is phenomenal. And the staff is really awesome. Like everybody's so friendly and I don't know, we just like it. It's like our little thing. Even though it's not like a local spot, there's plenty of locations. We're big Bonefish Grill fans here. Look at this meal. I come and get this all the time. Grilled chicken, scallops, asparagus, and broccoli. And then they cook it with the lemon. It's phenomenal. One of my favorite meals. Bonefish just really hits. And with that, I think we are done here today. Bonefish Grill was fantastic. I know I didn't show you much, I just showed you the food, but you know, when you're hanging out with friends, it's, you know, just really sometimes hard to film when you're like so engaged in conversations and stuff like that. Uh, but what an epic day, like honestly, Man, I love living in Florida. I love it here so much. This was so fun. Everything from early in the morning to right now, just coming home, seeing Gracie. This was beautiful. And I hope that, I hope you don't mind like my chaoticness. You know what I mean? I know sometimes things don't go with the flow. So I kind of just wing it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.